what is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my settings a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to show you my settings i can't really see why to be honest because i don't really like upload try hard gameplay very often so like and you don't really need settings and interviews but nevertheless i do do try hard gameplay and i am also a bit of a sweat when i'm not recording videos i just go out Tr full tryharding so i'm going to be showing you my classes and my settings at the end so i'm going to show you my main classes at the moment just so you guys get a rough idea of good classes including the best qq9 setup and when i say best Q qq9 i mean the best qq9 forget what other people are saying this qq9 is absolutely amazing low recoil high damage high mobility all in one package anyway we're going to start off with the rus first and the RUS setup, this is my personal favorite RUS setup. We've got the light compens comp I haven't even read these things. Light compensator for the decreased vertical and lateral control because obviously we're using no stock. So you want to stabilize it out. And as you see, we're decreasing our ADS speed and our ADS bullet spread. So to counteract the ADS speed, we're going to be using this. So that gives you like tons of ADS speed and movement speed back. This will also give you movement and ADS. And then to balance out, you want to be using strike grip. The strike full grip. This will give you vertical control and also ADS bullet accuracy back. And then you want to be using 38 extended mag. At first, I was using a grip as well. But the thing is, you can't. The only grip I would say you should probably use is probably the granulated grip tape to ADS bullet spread accuracy because we have, already have like tons of ADS speed. But yeah, I use it 30 round extended mag, 38 round extended mag, just because this thing runs out of ammo really, really fast. And we're gonna have to push through this really quick. I'm only gonna show you my main classes. And this is the God QQ9 setup. This QQ9 setup is absolutely insane. So the first, we want the light muzzle brake. This will decrease your lateral and vertical recoil while slapping off some ADS speed and ADS bullet spread accuracy. And then you wanna be using this barrel. It will increase your ADS speed and also your movement speed while decreasing the vertical but you already have increased the vertical in the other attachment and decreasing ads so then this attachment is god this attachment it will give you vertical a lot of vertical recoil and also ads bullet spread and then this attachment this has got so much damage if you don't already know this QQ9 setup is a rushing QQ9 setup don't play back it does have low recoil it's close to mid range and you can just destroy all your teammates Everyone always invites me, what do I say? And then you want to be using the rear grip uh, rubberized vertical recoil control to give you more control. And that is my QQ9 setup. I definitely recommend you guys try this QQ9 setup. It is absolutely insane. I don't know if I'm going to put gameplay in. I don't know how long the video is going to be, but I'll, well, I'll just have to see. But this QQ9 is absolutely insane. I got shot! Last one. Complete the mission. Sniper! Contact with enemy. Moving on to the next gun setup, we do have the Cordite. This is my personal Cordite preference. You don't have to use this Cordite. Um, but yeah, I use the extended light barrel. I'm never going to use the Marksman. It just decreases mobility way too much. Then for the stock, we have the Strike stock. It only decreases movement speed, which is kind of sucks, but it is better than decreasing your ADS speed. Uh, for this one, you want the bullet spread accuracy because they recently actually increased the bullet spread Oh, yeah, they increased the bullet spread of the, the Cordite recently to just to nerf it kind of so that can kind of counteracts the nerf and then for laser I have chosen the Laser tactical for ADS speed because the Cordite needs ADS speed because it's so slow to aim them sights and also gives you ADS bullet spread accuracy Which they did nerf and then for the perk I'm using disable just in case I hit like the feet and stuff like that So if they I, I slow them down obviously if you don't use a perk then I recommend you using one of the four grips probably even the range yeah probably just a range of four grip is probably the best it will give you accuracy and controls while decreasing your ads speed no class i have i'm not going to show you all my classes because that will take the the video will be too long you guys will get bored 
and as well as that, some of them aren't the best, they just, to me personally, and they're just weird weapons to be using. But the last one is the Kilo Bow, I use the Light Flash Gun, oh wait, the Light Flash Guard, because it will give you hip fire accuracy, and sometimes I just want to go for no scope, so that's the main reason I use it. But, it also increases your ADS bullet spread accuracy, so when you're aiming down sights, the bullet is going to go where you want it to go, and it's not going to go somewhere else, and that is what is so useful about it. For the stock, I'm using the Wyatt KM combat stock just to give it ADS speed. Vettel recoil isn't really a problem, flinch pity is kind of, but you know, you want ADS speed more, because I am using stopping power rounds to give me more ammo, not ammo, <laughs> more ammo, more damage, so I'll be one tapping people a lot more often stopping power is an essential in the kilo and i'm also using the stribble group group tape to increase the ads speed and then for the laser i'm using the only laser you can get which increases ads and ads bullet spread and that is my kilo setup so yeah now let's go into my actual physical settings now you guys have actually seen my main gun setups so let's go into sensitivity first for my sensitivity, I do use speed acceleration. I used to use fixed speed sens sensitivity, but fixed speed is only really good for ARs. It's not good for SMGs or snipers at all, or knifers, so I don't really use fixed. I started on like, speed acceleration and went to fixed speed for like two months. It helps you with your aim, but it doesn't help you with movement or anything like that, and then the COD Mobile movement is essential. So I put it back to speed acceleration, and since then I'm never changing. My sensitivity is 140. That's like the pinpoint just right for me. Sometimes I put it higher, it just literally depends. And then going down, I have switch what ADS open. I don't know, know what this is. <laughs> this is probably not even important. Sensitivity presets is custom, yeah. So it's my standard sensitivity is 65. My ADS sensitivity is 85. My tactical scope. Some of these scopes I need to change. I only literally just done them fast. So I'm gonna go with like the main ones. The sniper scope is 59 or 60. Tactics scope is 90 because I never use it. I'm pretty sure it's just default. Standard 60. Firing ADS is uh, 75 because when I'm firing, I want faster ADS speed so I can quickly change my shot nice and easily. ADS sense is 85. Tactics scope is unchanged. Sniper scope is 59. And then the other scopes I haven't really sorted out, so they're probably default. And I don't have gyro sense. So they are my main senses. If you guys want to like pause and just try them out for yourselves, for me that is the best. If you're wondering what device I play on, I play on an iPhone 7, so this is more for phone players rather than I uh, iPad and like tablet players. And then for my graphics, I am on medium and high frame rate. I sometimes I go to low, uh, but that's only when I've been playing for like hours and hours and my phone's overheating. Because I usually do play with a fan, and if you can't hear that in the back, I'm very sorry. I think that's pretty much it for my, uh, for my settings. Now I have all these, obviously. But, yeah. There's not much really to be in the settings. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to drop a like and a thumbs up. Like and a thumbs up. I need to get better at this speaking thing in YouTube videos. I, I suck at it. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, ninjas.